In this example, I want to show you how to write a proof of an if and only if statement. And as you can see, this is quite a simple proposition. Uh, so the emphasis here is not on the math itself, but on the structure of the proof. This is an if and only if statement, and that means there are two statements in one here. This means that if n is even, 5n plus 6 is even, and also that if 5n plus 6 is even, then n is even. And we have to prove both statements. So the very first thing we need to do in a proof of an if and only if statement is to state very clearly what directions we are proving first. So in this case, we're going to prove the left to right direction. So we are going to first prove that if n is even, then 5n plus 6 is even. This matters because then what I can assume is that n is even and only that, and I have to conclude that part here. And then afterwards, we'll prove the converse, and we will prove that 5n plus 6 is even implies that n is even. But here right now, I'm only proving this implication. So we start by assuming that n is even, and therefore by the definition of even, n is twice an integer m, and then 5n plus 6 will be 5 times that uh, twice an integer plus 6, and I can rewrite that as twice times uh, 5n plus 3, I'm going to call that k, and k, 5n plus 3, since m is an integer, 5 and 3 are integers, and the integers are closed under addition and multiplication, k itself is an integer, and therefore 5n plus 6 is twice an integer, and therefore 5n plus 6 is even, which is what we wanted to prove in this direction. Now, for the converse, we need to prove that if 5n plus 6 is even, then n is even. And this is a new proof, and I can choose to prove it in any method I want. So it could be a direct proof, or it can be um, something like the contrapositive. So I'm going to do it uh, using the contrapositive. So to prove that implication, I'm going to prove the contrapositive. So if not that, then not this. So if n is odd, then 5n plus 6 is odd. So we're going to prove that statement now. And the proof of the contrapositive goes as follows. Let n be odd, then n is twice an integer plus 1 for some integer m, and uh, therefore 5n plus 6, I can substitute n by the twice an integer plus 1, and then simplify so that I write it as twice something plus 1, that something uh, 5m plus 5 is an integer because, again, the integers are closed under addition and multiplication, so therefore 5n plus 6 is 2k plus 1 with k an integer, and therefore that means that 5n plus 6 is odd, which proves the contrapositive of the statement I wanted to show, so that proves the statement I wanted to show, and now that I've proved both directions of the if and only if, the proof is complete. By the way, one can also prove that 5n plus 6 is even implies that n is even as a direct proof by writing 5n plus 6 as twice an integer, and therefore you can isolate one n here and write it as 2m minus 6 minus uh, 4n, and then take a common factor of 2, and that's twice an integer, and therefore n is even. That's kind of a tricky proof because you are rewriting n in terms of n, uh, but that doesn't matter. All that matters is that you're writing n as twice another integer, and therefore n would have to be even.